A little review of Pal World after a meager 50 hours played. Let's get it. The gameplay. So the gameplay, you know, it's smooth. It's buttered up like a baby's bottom, but it's also very generic. Even if it is pleasing immediately and nothing feels off, the problem is that it doesn't push anything of its own that is fun. Everything it just feels like an element lifted from another game that the dev said, oh, okay, a lot of people like that, let's throw it in there. Okay, you got survival crafting, we'll have people punch trees with their hands, we'll have people hit rocks with their hands. Oh, people like collecting creatures? We'll put in a hundred creatures, however many creatures. You like base building? But we'll put it in for you. Get to building, boy. They like guns? We'll put guns in there. We'll make the abilities shoot gun rocket launcher. Now, I'm not saying that isn't cool, because it is pretty cool, and it was really funny the first time I saw it. But what I'm saying is when all these elements are just taken, they're thrown together in a cauldron, they're not put together with love, <laughs> what you get is just a big mess that is a confused identity whose only functional purpose is to appeal to as many people as broadly as possible, just to get them in at the expense of making something good, which is the problem. Because how are you going to create a memorable, real experience that brings something new to the world if all you're doing is taking old stuff and mixing it together for the most amount of people possible? Because although it was good for laughs, you can get laughs anywhere. You don't need a $30 game to mindlessly rot your brain away on. You could be playing Uno with on Discord with people and probably get the same amount of laughs. You won't remember Pal World. Two weeks from now, we'll be on to the next game. And we do that over and over again until we have thousands of hours played on games we don't even remember. Is anyone else not tired of these endless reskins that come out endlessly? I mean, the animations, they're just from Fortnite. The world and exploration, I'm pretty sure they're just ripping off Elden Ring. Ooh, the big tree, classic big tree. And then the movement with the gliders and you're riding your pals is pretty much Pokemon. It's pretty much Breath of the Wild. It's that new Pokemon Violet and something that I don't care to remember because it looks awful. What I'm trying to say is what is the identity of this game? Because if it is a pet collecting battling game, it's not that. The battling is pretty mid, very mid even. The pets just kind of use very ugly abilities at each other. You could tell that they didn't care too much about the animations. You could barely see most of them. Dodging most of them is a mess. I mean, why do we have a Dark Souls role? Does every game need a Dark Souls role if you're not going to do it good? There's no invincibility frames. The animations that you're trying to dodge from are ridiculous. Okay, half the times their pals are getting bugged out, jumping into the ceiling as they're trying to belly flop. And this isn't even touching the mechanics at all, which is the worst offender, okay? If the game is supposed to be about collecting pets, then why does it become about collecting materials to get the balls to collect the pets? I understand that you need some sort of gating for the collection. That makes sense. But that part of the game shouldn't be a chore. It should be fun. I don't want to be holding down X for five minutes. That isn't gameplay. That is Farmville. It's doing your dailies, your wizard dailies on World of Warcraft. It's freaking crud. That's what it is. Okay, I don't want to have to be mining ore for an hour so that I can put my slave pals to work so that I could get XP to level up so I can progress in the game. That's not real progression. Okay, that's just grinding. It has nothing to do with having fun. It has nothing to do with overcoming a challenge. Oh, it's so challenging to sit by a rock and hit it with my pickaxe for two minutes and then haul it back to the base. Okay, and then sit around and hold X and my Pokeballs. No way, Jose. Do I have solutions for this? Obviously not. I'm just a failed game developer myself. Okay, but seriously, Ask yourself, why is there time gating in a game like this? Why are you spending five minutes holding X to build a ranch? Why can't you just put the materials in, boom, bang, it's up. Okay, maybe for the multiplayer it has to be a few seconds. Fine. But minutes? 
What are we talking about, boys? Now, moving on to the next thing that's bothering me, the graphics. They suffer from the same thing. They're immediately pleasing because they're just lifted from every other popular massive game that came out there. They wanted to be recognizable. They wanted to just look like Breath of the Wild, just look like Genshin Impact, just look like another mobile game. Why not? Just make the character model and the graphics and the animations look like Fortnite. Why not? It's easy. It's recognizable. There's no thought involved. And it's the same with the design. Is there anything that really stands out? In the beginning, the first thing I saw was a chicken. I said, okay, I'm, I'm playing a flap-like game. We're playing Flappy Bird now? Don't get it twisted. I was actually having a lot of fun discovering the new pals. Like Gamos. I love his fucking tongue work. We got a boss Gamos. Say that ten times fast. And he was licking and lathering all the fucking plants up. And it was awesome. Okay? I was howling with laughter. Little Joltog. I love that little guy. Okay, you throw him as a bomb. And the toucan. When he went into self-destruct mode and it starts ticking down. Three, two, one. Shoe nice. Blowing up. I've, we lost it. It was so much fun. But that is so little of the game. And it only lasts for such a little time. It's like, the, it's just the first impressions. There's no depth there. And that really brings me to what the whole point of this video was. That it was just very surface level stuff that has so much potential to be super fun. But instead, it's just supplanted by gameplay mechanics. There are cheap gameplay loop of farming materials to get the tools that you need to actually play the game, that isn't good mechanics. Those aren't good gameplay loops. Who wants to be a robot who's creating PAL spheres to just catch 10 of the same Pokemon, PALs, whatever you want to call them, over and over and over again just for XP so that you could progress in the game just to beat the bosses? It's silly. Stick to what's good if you refine the combat to be really tight, to make all the gameplay really tight and then minimize the kind of mindless droning stuff that's just fluff to expand out the amount of gameplay that's actually there you would have a gem but instead you get a two week chump so at that i can only give it seven out of ten unpaid laborers if you disagree with me just tell me why in the comments. I'll reply to every single person like I do on every single one of my videos. And I will argue till I'm blue in the face. And just remember, it is okay that you are wrong. But I still love you, my freaky awesome gamer bros. If you enjoyed this, please like because it helps the channel a lot. You can subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to keep making videos. And I'll keep streaming on YouTube and Twitch. That's all for now. Spaghetto, signing off.